Smoky brown cockroaches are normally found in wooded outdoor areas, but occasionally they can be seen wandering onto our property or even inside our homes. No homeowner can stand the sight of a roach indoors, but smoky brown roaches can reach areas where no one would normally expect to see roaches, like the attic or the upper floors of a building. If you've spotted these roaches inside your home, that may indicate a larger infestation outdoors, so in this video, we'll show you how to identify and control smoky brown roaches so your home can stay roach-free. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about smoky brown cockroaches, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Smoky brown roaches are common to encounter in the southeastern United States, but not as common as the more widespread American cockroach. Pay attention to the following details to easily differentiate smoky brown roaches from others. Smoky brown roaches are among the larger roaches, but smaller than the American cockroach. Smoky brown roaches grow to be about one and a half inches in length, while the American roach is known to grow up to two inches in length. Smoky brown roaches are a very dark brown to black color with a black pronotum. American roaches are a more neutral brown that fades to a lighter brown towards the end of their tail. Their pronotum is also a lighter brown, but with two darker marks. Smoky brown roaches are known to be stronger flyers, and this is in part due to their long wing lengths. Both male and female smoky browns have wings that extend past the length of their abdomens. In American roaches, this is only observed in males. Be sure to use these details to see if you're dealing with smoky brown cockroaches. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hot spots of activity. Indoors, look around areas where moisture tends to build up. Smoky brown cockroaches are prone to dehydration, so they're constantly looking for food and water inside of structures. Common areas to check are the kitchen and bathroom, and especially underneath sinks. Look for leaks or other signs of moisture buildup. Because these roaches are strong flyers, you'll also want to check the attic or crawl spaces. Be on the lookout not just for the roaches themselves, but also look for droppings, shed skins, and eggs. Also, note down any cracks and crevices smoky brown roaches can use to hide in or even possibly use to invade your home, like door cracks or wall voids. Outdoors, look nearby for common harborages that most roaches would use for shelter. This can include leaf litter, wood piles, underneath rocks and slabs, underneath thick foliage, tree cavities, within eaves, rain gutters, and any voids, cracks, or crevices along the structure. Note if there are trees near your structure or if any branches hang over the structure especially, since this will give smoky brown roaches easy access to fly from the tree to your structure's roof, attic, or other upper levels. Take note of what you've found, as you'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off spray-treated areas until dry. To fully control smoky brown cockroaches, you'll need to use several products to fight roaches inside and outside. First, you'll need to conduct a perimeter treatment around the outside of your structure to stop any roach from invading. We recommend you use a liquid insecticide concentrate that's made with the active ingredient bifenthrin that will leave a lasting residual. The bifenthrin will work to kill pests it comes in contact with and will also leave a barrier that prevents pests from crossing. For a product that's 7.9% bifenthrin, we recommend you use 0.33 to 1 fluid ounce of product per 1 gallon of spray solution. Use one whole fluid ounce if you're dealing with a heavy infestation. This will treat up to 1,000 square feet of treatment area. We recommend you use this product in a 1 or 1.5 gallon handheld sprayer to make mixing and application quick and easy. To mix, fill your pump sprayer with half a gallon of water and add your measured amount of insecticide concentrate. Add the rest of the water up to the one gallon line, close the sprayer, and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump the sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Apply your insecticide solution as a perimeter treatment around your structure's foundation. Create a barrier by spraying three feet up the structure and three feet out. Next, treat the entry points you noted earlier in your inspection. Be sure to spray around doors, windows, openings created by utility pipes, the garage door, and any other openings you may have found. Once an adult roach comes into contact with the application, it can take up to one hour for it to die. Next, reinforce your outer perimeter by laying an insecticide bait that will eliminate roaches after consumption. We recommend you use Ficam Insect Bait. Ficam is a ready-to-use granular insecticide that contains orthoboric acid. Orthoboric acid is a naturally occurring compound, so it's safe to use around children or pets. Use a rate of 2 to 4 pounds per thousand square feet of treatment area, or more simply, 
3.2 to 6 ounces per 100 square feet. We recommend you spread the product directly from the container or with a small cup. To apply from the container, open the container and remove the seal. Hold the container about 4 to 5 inches from the ground and shake the product out in 2 to 4 foot bands around your treatment perimeter. Make sure you are at least 10 feet away from your structure. You can also apply FICAM around trees, flower beds, mulch, and near wood piles. Once you finish treating outdoors, you'll need to treat indoors as well. Indoors, we recommend you use a bait product like Apex Cockroach Gel Bait. Apex is an effective gel bait designed to kill roaches slowly after consumption. This gives the roach time to travel back to its nest before it dies, thus spreading the lethal poison to others. Before you apply this product, be sure to eliminate food and water sources. Clean your entire home and be sure not to use any harsh chemicals, just warm water. Wipe down countertops, vacuum floors, and take out the garbage. By cleaning up, you've eliminated competing food sources that can get in the way of your gel bait application. To use Apex, just apply a small, pea-sized drop of gel to cabinets, shelves, drawers, cracks and crevices, around plumbing entry points, and wherever else you've seen roach activity. To get underneath appliances, you can apply a drop onto a card and slide the card underneath. Leave no less than 12 inches of space between each application. Finally, you'll finish your treatment by treating indoors with FICAM. You can apply FICAM in your attic, crawl spaces, basements, and wherever else you've seen smoky brown roach activity. Apply at a rate of 4 pounds per 1,000 square feet. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied your products, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Once you've dealt with your roach infestation, the best way to keep smoky brown roaches from invading your home is to keep it clean, dry, and free of extra moisture. Continue to clean around kitchens and bathrooms and address any sites of high moisture you may have found during your inspection. Be sure to clean out your rain gutters, fix leaky faucets, and repair faulty plumbing. If you haven't already, adapt to a regular cleaning schedule, clean your floors regularly, and ensure your sink is dry every night. Remember not to leave any food out, especially pet food. Outdoors, pick up any litter or debris that smoky brown roaches can use as harborages. Trim back overhanging tree branches to limit access that smoky brown roaches or other pests could have. Finally, you'll prevent roaches from coming in outright by sealing off any cracks and crevices you found during your inspection by using caulk and copper mesh. Like other roaches, smoky brown cockroaches can invade our homes and cause much distress, but it somehow sounds worse to find roaches in your attic. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop smoky brown cockroaches from invading your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.